Hello, my name is Joseph Bassett with Dawn Equipment Company, and I'll be narrating this video for you, basically making a couple comments. This is a really interesting video because this is showing the first production use of uh, ammonia with the Pluribus Striptil unit. This is in southeastern Iowa with a custom operator, and it's uh, quite a rig. It's going to be a 8400T uh, tractor, about 225 horsepower. A freeze and toolbar off an older Case IH planter. Those are getting more common. The Montag high output dry fertilizer cart that has variable rate controlled by the uh, Raven ammonia controller. They've got the uh, the Raven is controlling the variable rate on the Montag too. And of course a 16 row 30 setup with the Dawn high speed units. Here we're going into a cornfield that was harvested about uh, two weeks to three weeks before we're running in here. Uh, I, ideally, I'd like to see the stalks a little bit longer so that we don't have so much dry fluff, but uh, this operator will notice that if you um, get a rain on these stalks, it'll be a lot easier because you won't have so much fluff coming through. The row on the very right-hand side here is one of the rows with the uh, vent coming off the Raven. The Raven has these three-quarter inch vent lines, which are kind of tough to know what to do with them, but we've got them positioned right under the 4x4 tube, which is the spine of the unit, and we're trying to capture that uh, vented ammonia uh, in the cloud of soil coming out of the back of the unit. Um, typically, I've you know people say it's about one to two percent of the total product uh, coming out of the vent, so it is pretty nominal. It's more cosmetic than anything, but we do need to get a little bit more sorted out on what exactly we're doing with those vent tubes. But if you compare the row on the right to the rows next to it, you can see that we're doing a a, vi a very adequate job sealing this level of ammonia, which is typically anywhere from uh, 120 to 150 pounds that he's putting down here. You can see we're using this cloud of soil in, in between uh, the two gauge wheels on the unit to really capture any uh, ammonia that might be coming up there, might wanting to outgas from the tine. And for that reason, the speed you're running at when you're putting down ammonia is important. I'd really like to see about you know eight to nine miles an hour typically, and you have got to have some moisture in the ground to get that ammonia to seal. The uh, you know compared to bone dry soil, when you've got some moisture in the ground, the ammonia just wants to stick to that moisture. It looks like this uh, field was harvested with knife rolls, um, cut at about a foot and a half tall, which leaves about you know, a bunch of sort of randomly oriented one to three foot long stalks that can be sort of trouble sometimes. But again, you know, we do typically recommend doing the corn stalks in the spring. Uh, I think he's putting down about 300 pounds to the acre with the Montag. Um, so you have a, uh, a really slick setup here that's basically putting down all your nutrients in one pass. It's moving at about nine miles an hour. Uh, very low horsepower tractor. The Montag's not taking too much power and it's a uh, about as efficient as I think you can produce corn. These shots here, again, the second row in from the left there is another one with the vent tube on it, so you'll see it's putting a little, puffing a little bit more out there, but these shots will give you a sense of just how fast we're moving through the field when we're doing this. That is about an 80-foot train um, when he folds that all up to go down the road, so there is quite a bit back there. Thank you. Bye.